Come on in, sisters. Let's get ready for the movie. I'm coming in with y'all. Come on in, y'all. Hey, hey, hey. I'm taking my seat with y'all. Come on in. Mm -hmm. Come on in. Bring your Kool-Aid, your cocktail, your water. Bring your food and snacks to sit and chat with who? Me, this hood girl to the hood. Y'all already know. Uh, Christmas Leftovers is the movie today. Uh, Y'all, this is scene one, take two. Let's roll the tape. How y'all doing? How is the day after Christmas? Mm -hmm. Did you survive with all that good food and drinks and family and whatever y'all did? Let's say prayers, y'all, and then we're going to get ready to eat because the food is good and hot. Thank you, God, for this, another beautiful, blessed, and awesome day. Thank you for traveling grace to and from. Let this food be nourishment to my beautiful and healthy body. Bless those who are looking on right now. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen and amen. Y'all, let me tell y'all. Well, let's toast to new beginnings in a minute <laughs> when New Year's come in. So, salut, salut, let's sip, sip this good water. Cheers, y'all. I'm a little perturbed right now. I think y'all hear it in my voice. Well, first, let me just say this. Honey, we had so much fun at Sister's house. We saw one of our brothers. He came, him and his family. We had not seen him for 10 years, y'all. It was so beautiful. Yeah. So, I thank God for that. It, it, I mean, wow. So, it was four of us of the five siblings that my mama had. You know, so that's a, that's a hallelujah moment. Because it's been a long time when we was in one room together as sisters and brothers. So I thank God for that. I really do. I think my mother felt some kind of way. Y'all know. Oh, we smoked that ham, y'all. Oh, here. Ooh, y'all. I'm so sorry. I did not offer y'all anything. It's just some simple leftovers. I got dirty rice, dressing, and some smoked ham. Mmm. You can taste all the smoke flavor. At the last 45 minutes, I mixed up some, uh, one cup of uh, orange marmalade um, jelly. I had garlic powder, cloves, um, peppercorns, and I mixed it, and some hot spicy mustard, and I mixed it all together. And then I went in between each and every layer of the spiral uh, ham and let it, oh, y'all don't even understand how good this is. This is really good. Um, you know what? Hmm. Y'all can have that piece. There you go. So, y'all, you remember? We buried my auntie last week. And, you know, we had family dinner together. My, as y'all know, my mama did not want to come. And she don't never come, no. You know, and, and she never will. But y'all knew I was supposed to go to Mother's house today to get some of her barbecue, just to eat with her, you know. But, you know, we all called her, you know, yesterday. And one of the brothers did go to Mother's, you know. And Mother is, she's careful because of COVID as well. Some, I think some people, especially our elders, the fear of getting COVID is real. And they don't live anymore. They just sit in a house scared, you know. Um, so, uh, when I got there, she act like she didn't want to let me in. I said, well, are you going to let me in? Well, I saw you over at Cheryl's house. All y'all was together. I don't want no COVID. Mama, the people who were there work at home. The people who work out have to do COVID tests. The temperature test, you, you, we won't put you, anyway, 
And so, you know, I remember what my counselor said. Boundaries. <laughs> boundaries. Set boundaries. She was so negative. And I thought, and, you know, when I thought about it, I was like, I think she was mad because I was with other people and not just her. You know, because I'm the only one of her children that go see her like I do. So she finally let me in. And then she said, you was at that funeral. I bet you was hugging on them people. Mama, that's family. We were sitting six feet apart. It was only two people on the pew every other row. And we were all masked. Everybody. Y'all was together at Cheryl House. Mm -hmm. You could have been there as well. I got so tired of hearing y'all five minutes in there. I said, you know what? I'm going home. I said, you could have called me to tell me this. And I could have saved my hour of driving. I could have saved my freaking gas. So I'm a little perturbed. Because I could have slept a little longer today. You know? But I still had so much fun. And y'all know when I got back from my sissy house. Um, David and Nick came. We had so much fun. We always have fun. And then I'm going over to David's house tomorrow. Tomorrow and I'm going to bake a, a strawberry cake for their house. For dinner. So how was y'all Christmas? I know y'all had good food on the table. Y'all, this is good. And I was traveling to Mama's house, of course, and then back home. And there's not a lot of people on the road today. But sure, it was a lot of travelers uh, for Christmas as well on airplanes and buses. Yeah. I met my nephew's uh, girlfriend. Uh, it's, they're having his first child, her fourth, his first. Mm -hmm. She was a very nice girl. Very nice. She was Hispanic. And they live in uh, Laredo. Mm -hmm. We just had a good time. It had been a long time. You know, I think that time was due. God, God does not make mistakes. Mm-hmm. Uh, even though we're in a COVID situation, I just don't believe that a family member, whoever it may be, knowing if they may have some COVID, they would come around in a crowd. I, I don't think families would do that. I, I just don't want to believe it. And I wouldn't dare put my mom at risk, you know? But anyway, it's over. I'm going to get through. E oh, y'all. You know, you can't come home without uh, dessert. <clears throat> I brought this home yesterday. My sister always make a great homemade pound cake. And she made some good uh, sweet potato powder. And she was mixing it up. I said, do you have a fresh lemon? She said, no. What I'm going to do with that? I said, sometimes you can enhance them sweet potatoes with a hint of fresh lemon. And I said, well, do you have some orange juice? She said, now we got some fresh squeezed orange juice. I say, hit hit the uh, potatoes with that fresh orange juice. Y'all, it's good. So y'all, you know, I have my, my cake. So I'm definitely gonna eat a piece because I ain't put too much food on this plate. Y'all, I'm just gonna rest today. I'm gonna, uh, 
find something on Netflix or somewhere. Yeah. And just be thankful for what I have and what I'm doing and where I am. And don't uh, think about anything else, you know. One thing for me, I learned many years ago when God was transforming me. Pray without ceasing <laughs> for your family, your friends, everything. You know, people are still losing jobs, losing family members as well. So, yeah. Yeah, this ham is really good. I would do it again. I really would do it again. Mm hmm Last night, when we was in here uh, drinking and dancing, I made us a, a ham sandwich with that a spicy mustard. They loved it. At first, I was going to heat up some of those yeast rolls, and I'm thinking, like, now I'm on the bread. I'm no macaroni and cheese. I ain't no potato salad. Mm-mm. <laughs> I know this is good. Y'all, uh, the new year is coming. Yep. It's right around the corner now. I'm not doing anything. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I'm getting full. What are y'all eating for leftovers today? But I'm a, uh, I don't have a lot of ham left, you know, because, uh, you know, we had it at Sister's house. I think I'm going to make a pasta salad with some chunks of ham in it. I'm going to have some eggs and ham hmm. and grits. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to uh, do different things because I don't want it to waste, you know. Because I only have a ham once a year anyway. So, yeah. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. I was coming from mother's house and I looked up and saw a brand new house door. I turned my blue angel around and honey I have to go in there but I ain't buy nothing y'all because y'all know I don't need no more hair but uh, they was the friendliest people ever you know so I'm gonna be going because it's closer now. So I'm definitely gonna be going in there again. They still were unpacking boxes because I wanted to pick out, uh, pick up some bandanas. And uh, but they were not uh, unpacked yet. So definitely gotta go back because it's really close. Mhm. Mm Closer than the other ones I go to when I go on, on that side of town. That whole hour drive. Okay, y'all. We out of time. So, let's sing ourselves out. And I bid y'all a good day. But y'all will see me again before the new year. And um, if God says so, I'll be with y'all on New Year's Day. Uh, maybe even New Year's Eve, y'all. We'll see. But look here. Y'all ready? Get your parts ready. Let's sing ourselves out. It's time to say goodbye for now. We'll have another chance around on the other side. Whatever you do today, do it good, do it with purpose, and please, I can't say it enough, do it with genuine love. I love you, and there's nothing you can do about it. Peace out.